So now we're going to look at applying the Pythagorean Theorem, which is in a real-world situation. So let's fill out the directions first. Given any two measures, A, B, or C, so whether we have the legs or whether we have the hypotenuse of a right triangle, we're going to use the Pythagorean Theorem. to find the length of the missing side. So the first order of business that we will do is to substitute what we know into the formula, into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Then we simplify or evaluate what we have so far. Use the properties of equality to get the unknown variable by itself. And then we will take the square root of both sides as our final step. So our first question is to find the length of the leg of a right triangle if the other leg is 10 centimeters long and the hypotenuse is 30 centimeters long. Now we have a lovely little picture to go with this. And I'm going to take 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters is one of the legs. And it doesn't matter which one. I'm going to just pick one. Now the legs form the right angle. So it could have been this one, or it could have been this one. It really does not matter. However, the hypotenuse is 30 centimeters long. Now the hypotenuse is the one, the side length, that is across the triangle from the right angle. So that is my hypotenuse, 30 centimeters. We start with using the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 10 is one of the legs. We do not know the other leg. That will be what we find. And 30 is our hypotenuse. We square all of that. 10 squared is 100. 30 squared is 900. Next step, I'm going to isolate my variable that I'm looking for. That says minus 100. So this leaves me with b squared on this side and 800 on this side. And then my very last step is to square root both sides. We must do the same operations to both sides to keep it balanced. So I'm square rooting b squared, and I'm square rooting 800. Square root of b squared. These two operations undo each other, so I'm left with a single b. And then the square root of 800 is approximately 28 centimeters. So it's a repeating number there, it looks like. And if I go back to my picture and put this in, this is a leg, and it should be shorter than my hypotenuse, and it is. So that seems to fit. So now we've got a situation where it's a 20-foot ladder is placed against a building the bottom of the ladder is seven feet from the building. How high does the top of the ladder reach? Okay, so seven feet from the building goes right here for this leg right here. See the right angle is here. So we got seven centimeters, not centimeters, gracious, seven feet. And the ladder itself is 20 feet long. So the ladder, that's right here, this is 20 feet. So I'm hoping you say, oh, that means that is the hypotenuse length, and you would be correct. So we're going to do the same process, plug it in, substitute it into 
your Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We get 7 squared plus b squared equals 20 squared. And 7 squared is 49. And 20 squared is 400. We're going to subtract 49 from both sides. Subtract 49 from both sides. We're left with b squared equals 351. Last step is to square root both sides to keep it balanced. We gotta do the same operation to both sides. And B is approximately 18 and a little bit left over 73 hundredths feet. So that means if you have a 20 foot ladder, you cannot reach 20 feet high on a building. You're gonna be reaching lower than that. So that makes sense. So the 18 feet approximately goes here for that leg. And then the last one, we've got a basketball court. Maya decided to cut across the gym to get to exit in the corner rather than to continue to walk along the wall and turn left at the corner and walk along that wall to the door. So Maya's cutting across. So here's Maya. She's cutting across through the middle of the gym like no one is allowed to do. If the gym is 100 feet long, so 100 feet long and 80 feet wide, How much distance did she save by cutting across the gym and justify your solution? Okay, so we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared to find out the length of what did she actually walk. And then we're going to have to do a little bit more math after that. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we have 100 squared plus 80 squared equals c squared squared. And this is 10,000 and this is 6,400. And when we add those together we get 16,400. And then we square root both sides. We gotta do the same operation to both sides to keep it balanced. And the square root of 16,400 is 128. And that will be in feet exactly. So Maya walked 128 feet. So I'm going to take that and put that here. Diagonally to cut across the gym from corner to corner is 128 feet. However, that's not answering the question in its entirety. The last part of the question says, how much distance did she save by cutting across the gym? Well, how much would she have walked if she walked along the walls? That's 180 together, which would be 180 if she walked around beside the walls. But she didn't. She cut across from corner to corner so we're going to subtract the 128 that she actually walked, and we will find out that she saved herself 52 feet by cutting across the gym. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for listening.